Ooh, what is up guys and welcome of course to our MPL of course victory battle against Fog or the Colorado Evologs. Now a quick rundown here because the team looks to part, but are two Pokemon missing from another team that definitely could have seen fitted this matchup also. She does or he does like Infernape and uh, uh Rodan Wash, which both were really really good for this matchup and uh I really, really had to be rather distinguished here what I wanted to create. Kritana is a very, very big threat against my team. Even though I have defensive responses and have Pokemon that, of course, I'd speed them. It is a Pokemon that I'm not actually accustomed to actually facing all that much. Only face it, you know, during the the first few weeks of the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Haven't played OU since then, and Kritana, of course, being clearly defined much, much later than the others. Um... Melo, of course, a timid 19 IV set. Now, of course, with that said, my team is as follows. Volcarona, bulky quiver dance set, with Passover to be able to set up against Rodom was the main idea here. Uh, my Tsepakoku, um, adamant version, so he's not able to outspeed a timid like a Sam for his team, which he also did have, but I find it very unlikely for him not bringing it. So adamant and able to, of course, with nature power, wild charge, and brave bird to be able to actually two shot both Among Us and Chansey. The main idea here was basically that both Among Us and Chansey are great switching to Tabu Koku. So having an offensive variant which, uh, with physical damage as sort of special, might make more sense for this specific matchup. Plus, it actually can do well against, of course, a Cliff Key if it's forced to, which clearly was going to come on this team no matter what. So, um, without that, we have Landers, a dual dance Landers with C move. Uh, so, we've got Rock Policy, Force Dance, uh, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. So, pretty standard, able to set up against a lot of things here. And uh, it doesn't risk getting paralyzed against this team, which means that it is very likely to. Um, to dent the team properly early on in the game, and that's pretty much what we're going to aim on. Lenders is not going to be a late game sweeper, it's going to be a defining early game break a pot sweeper, is the idea. Mega like a Sam with um, Psy Shock, let's see, Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, I do believe, Coal Mind and Substitute, pretty darn standard. Modest sets, since I don't need to run Timid, because Modest outspeed everything in his team in a way. Uh, Frostlass, Spec sets, able to spam either Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, or Disney Bond. Uh, very, very, very straightforward. Basically, their Frostless does do good damage on most of his team outside of pretty much Chansey. And, uh, hopefully we can trick Chansey a Scarf. That's, or I suspect that was an initial idea. Uh, and then Registeel, pretty weird set this time around with, uh, Hidden Power Fire, actually, to be able to not be walled out by Jubilee and not be KO'd easily by Kartana, as we can set up against its face. And then we have, of course, Seismic Toss as a filler and Toxic and, I do believe, Stealth Rocks. So, with a five, no, three minute, five minutes, three minutes intro, let's see how this battle went. Um, from the get go, I do leave with Volcarona here, as he's gonna start with, of course, the Among Us, which is great. Uh, Shansi is gonna come in, I'm just gonna go for the Fiery Dance anyway, because it's Fire Dance and it's always nice. But here's the thing, I'm at risk of getting toxic, that's a big issue, and knowing that, I'm gonna switch into Registeel, as we see, toxic, not Thunder Wave, which is awesome. And as he set up rocks, I'm going to do the same, since none of us are able to spin them away. And I feel that we both actually have a great deal of advantage of actually having rocks on the field. So same with us, clearly going to miss. I just wanted to see what my opponent did as I go for the hidden power fire here. As uh, he go behind a substitute, so Dewblade all the way down 50%. And I keep going for hidden power fire as he just decided to go for a sacred sword. It won't necessarily all that much, and leftovers keeps me, of course, at bay. So, he is, of course, forced to switch out here. He's gonna go back to the Mexican as I set up Toxic, feeling that he's most likely gonna switch out. So, I am right now, you know, having my head in the game at least. As he goes for a Wish, I do believe I go for a Scythe Toss, just filler damage. It's basically what it is. And it's very likely now that he will switch out to something else or to take the Wish. So, having that in mind, I'm gonna switch in Landris. I do believe this is a great opportunity for me of actually trying to set up. As uh, so Seismic Toss, of course, is going to do some nice damage on me, and you know, with, of course, the Wish, Chance is back on track. So, as I do believe I go directly for the Sword Stance, basically here, I knew it was very likely could have gone off for Toxic, and even if it doesn't do that, I have a clear opportunity of pulling that off. As I do go for Continental Crush here, as my opponent, of course, do the best play possible and actually sack off Beyblade. And that, of course, is um, that Pokemon, not that, which is awesome. As he does score a crit on me here, which is unfortunate, uh, since of course it does do a bit more damage than I wanted to, but at the same time, I do pull off the rock polish before going down, and 
I am still intact here for course a cleft kid come in. Now, seeing that it's very likely for a magnet price to be pulled off here, I'm actually gonna go for a sword stance one more time and then basically go for a stone edge and get as much damage as possible because I knew that it was my given opportunity of pulling that off. Sadly, I do miss the stone edge, but you know, that's that's the game we play. That's <laughs> never falls. I was basically kicking myself a little bit there. So anyway, you're gonna ring in Tabu Coco. I know exactly that it's very likely Chansey or of course Amagus comes in as I'll go for a nature power. I do have the sea stone. Uh, I didn't feel the necessary ability to using it just yet, as it's just about 50%, and that's great because that means Braver will kill, but I do score a crit here. Uh, the crit necessarily didn't matter. It is a roll though, because it's a full defensive set, that is. So, seeing that, of course, the Mexican gonna come in, I'm not gonna go for another Braver because I'm just gonna fall anyway. So, it goes for a wish, that's okay. I'm just gonna go directly for a coal mine, and I wanna see Toxic. Uh, but it goes directly for his seismic toss, I realize, right, he's gonna go for some kind of kill here. And I'm now in a two-hit KO range with Mega Lakasan with Zy Shock in mind. But I'm gonna try to go for a substitute anyway, hoping for the Toxic to kinda transfer. I really want to see that. That doesn't happen, I need to start attacking. And it's a bit unfortunate because I really, really like the idea of having Alakasan behind a sub. Uh, mainly to not be paralyzed by the Cliff Key, which is the biggest issue here, as we're gonna, of course, KO the Mexican or Chansey. Uh, and Cresselia is now going to come in, and I'm going to take this opportunity to just go for Shadow Ball. It won't KO, I need to be a plus 2 to be able to pull that off. But at the same time, I do do heavy damage on Cresselia, and it is definitely went from everything to nothing. And now I'm going to actually just go directly for a Shadow Ball, just KO it, and I'm just going to try to do the maximum amount of damage on Klefki before fall. As um, one thing that doesn't actually occurred to me as this is going on is that you know he will get me paralyzed and the reason that's a bad thing is because that means that his uh, cartana can be very 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 scary by default actually so i'm just gonna pause it here a little bit just try to explain what's going on and now it just occurred to me that it is very likely now that this is a timid set that was talking about against the speed race instead i cannot one it ko uh, this cartana with shadow ball um, I was definitely checking it out before I decided to take a risk on it. Uh, so my initial thought here was that, you know, I could probably sack Volcarona, uh, make it fall to rocks, um, completely forgetting that it is as full HP at the moment, or I don't didn't forget it, it just, I was so sure it was going to fall on the switch since I didn't give him the speed boost. So that was my initial thought, that's we're going to see, of course, the SD. And, of course, Volcarona is a very, very fit even when it comes in. Now, that's okay. I mean, it's a bad play through and through, but, you know, we do resist all kind of damage here that he can pull up. We don't leave... The only move he has is Brutal Swing that could super effectively hit me. Uh, so knowing that, I kind of felt it's more likely that it, it's better that I stay in hoping for a kick in the Flame Body. Or um, one thing that I probably should have done is switching Frostlast again, hoping he went for a fighting move or anything like that, and basically switching Volcarona again to avoid the speed race, but don't think about that. I was basically saying GG at this point, I kind of felt that, you know, that was a big mess up on my part. I probably should try to attack him and hope for the best, as uh, he actually goes for the C move, um, all out pummel, which is very bad on my opponent's side, and this is definitely one of the misplays, if anything, because yes, he does get the speed race, but remember, my ready steal is max special uh, or max attack and max defense it's bulky it can definitely take a timid secrets or sacred sword no secret say no it's sacred sword and knowing that and knowing that he wasted his chance of actually winning this match i am actually going to be able with hidden power of course fire ko of course this cortana which is super super unfortunate on my opponent's side right I really won't say anything else. I don't believe that anything I say from here on out is going to justify the situation. It was very clear I messed up and, of course, made Cliff Key paralyze my, <laughs> my Frost Lass. And not seeing that the Cortana most likely is, of course, the set that is um, the timid set, of course, to get the speed race. I, I should have lost this game, is what I'm really trying to say. Now, I couldn't, one thing that does kind of transpire me, and definitely something I think I should have done the next time, and I believe I've learned, hopefully, is that, um, hopefully, next time when I see this thing transpire, that I eat switching Cliff Key early, 
uh, or I mean my uh, Tabu Koko early. I had a good chance of actually wrapping the game with Tabu Koko at that point after the first Shadow Ball. I didn't do that, and seeing how well this situation was transparent, I should definitely have done that. But that's the thing when you play on Showdown, things are much, much faster. And my my first thought is not necessarily the great one, clearly. So, our first window with MPL, and that's great, I, I, I really needed that. But at the same time, I won't try to, um, you know, take away the, the situation that is that my opponent should have won this battle. Uh, this is a great misplay on my opponent's side, and it definitely did backfire. I have no idea why he went for all our pummel there. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure any attack and definitely brutal swing would have killed it. Uh, sure, you know, two times effective when I was super, super defensive, but it's still a plus two and flame body could get in. So, yeah, I can see the situation, but I don't believe it was the right play no matter what. And I do believe my opponent actually agree with that. That was definitely, that was a choke, choke of a lifetime. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Um, and I'll see you, of course, next time. <laughs> Thank you for all the game. Hope to battle you another time, definitely. So take care, everyone, and have a great day and whatnot. Bye, guys. Thank you.